Hello, dear students. I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to understand your literature reader chapter, Gemma. Now, before we start with the summary and understanding of the chapter, let us first understand the word meanings. The first word is suit, which means a type of a fuzzy leather. Stealthily, in a cautious manner, so as not to be seen or heard. The next word is scowl, which means look at something in an angry manner. Vicious. This word means cruel or violent. The next word is plagued, which means troubled or distressed. Next word is sneaking, which means moving secretly towards Impressive, which means unusual and extraordinary. Now children, we come on to the summary and we will understand the story now. A short walk away, Gemma brushed past a prickly bush and followed a small break in the twisted liana vines. She came to a wall of leaves and grew excited at the sound of movement ahead. She often felt like she could sense when adventure was near. In fact, she felt it almost every single day. And for the past year, she had been wrong roughly every single time. So despite the eagerness to find something remarkable, her shock was genuine when she brushed the leaves aside. In a small clearing, no larger than a rock pond was a black jaguar. She bravely, confidently froze. So now children, let me explain you that this story is about a little girl who saved a golden mole from the black jaguar. Now let's see what happens next. As she rubbed the condensation from her glasses, Gemma spotted a small mammal underneath the jaguar's paw. Further, rubbing led to the further clarity and she recognized the animal as a golden mole, both rare and beautiful. A fear rushed in that if she didn't act soon, the mole would be eaten or crushed under the jaguar's leg. Oh, Bamberlot! She whispered. Half thinking, half not at all thinking, Gemma reached into the brown satchel at her waist and found a small piece of suit. Now here children, the word satchel means a bag and the word suit means leather. So wrapped tightly inside was her favorite brass bell. It was a dented old gift from an even older grandma and Gemma never left it behind when she ventured out. Now here the word ventured means to go out when she went out. Normally she reserved for it occasions that required making a lot of noise but an emergency like this called for something much more risky. So she found a little brass bell in her bag, okay? And she always used to carry that bell whenever she ventured out. Stepping forward stealthily, Gemma used the other hand to free a thin purple ribbon from her hair. She pressed the suit against the bell tightly to make sure that it didn't attract any unwanted attention. A few paces ahead and completely unaware of Gemma, the jaguar lifted his paw up for just a moment, then pinned the mole down again. Gemma allowed herself a quick and disapproving scowl when she focused on the task at hand. She opened the cloth and tied the ribbon around an opening in the brass bell. Then, with the delicacy of a snowflake, 
on a silk napkin at afternoon tea with the queen. Gemma tied the other end of the ribbon in another knot. So it means that she tied the brass bell at the end of the ribbon very delicately and without any noise so that it would not alarm the black jaguar. Now see what happens next. She slid backwards through the leaves and grabbed the closet suitable rock. As the jaguar leaned down with his teeth bared, Gemma pushed the knot towards his tail. Without a moment to spare, the jaguar lifted his head and whipped his body around. And that's when he heard a jingle. A strange, suspiciously close jingle. He whipped back the other way and heard the jingle again. But all he saw was jungle. He tried prowling around the clearing, looking for the source, but again saw only the jungle. So children here, this means that he was alarmed by the jingle, by the sound of the bell that was made by every movement that he made. And he looked around to find from where is the sound coming from. But he saw only the jungle around. Now, the jingles came faster, one after the other. The mole looked on in surprise. Then, in the type of overreaction that jaguars are known for, he leapt into the deep bush next to him, looking for anything to attack. Gemma immediately rushed in to grab the wounded golden mole and quickly hid behind the nearest tree. The jaguar ran back into the clearing and looked around with a vicious stare. As soon as he took another step, the bell which Gemma had fastened securely to his tail jingled again. Having lost his target and plagued by the mysterious jingle, the jaguar picked a direction and charged deep into the dark tropical rainforest. When the jingles finally grew quiet, Gemma laid the golden mole down. Don't worry, he's gone, she said, petting his head softly. And he won't be sneaking up on anyone for a while, she added with a smile. The mole wheezed out a tiny giggle, then shook out his fur. It looked up at Gemma for a long moment then scrunched his nose. Without a sound, it dug a hole in the soft earth and dove down. So I hope children you have come to know that how Gemma saved the life of the golden mole with her intelligence and with her presence of mind. Now see what happens next. Gemma watched in awe as it worked its way out of sight at impressive speed. She peered down to catch one last glimpse, but its little feet had disappeared in a flurry of dirt and dust. Gemma looked around. She had maybe 10 minutes before her parents would try to wake her up and then find her missing. It was time to head back. Besides, she had found more than enough adventure for one day. So children, how interesting the story was. And we have come to know that, that Gemma was so kind and she was so much attached to the animals. Yes, that she could not see any animal in pain. So she saved the golden mole's life and made her walk safely into the into the hole yes the mole was saved and Gemma was very satisfied now she goes back to her home where her parents were waiting or would try to wake her up in another 10 minutes and she was very satisfied that she had enough adventure for one day so yes children 
So now you need to read the chapter twice and you need to learn all the word meanings given in the book. It is a very interesting chapter children. So and the moral that it gives is that you should be kind towards animals. Yes. So thank you so much students. Bye-bye and take care.